And if I have to come back and ask her, <laughs> if I have to come back. How yeah, can you try to just swoop that in there and just do okay, that? Bro. And just end the video. Like what? that's a that's that that's just What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. Mm -hmm. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, right here in the National Museum of Eswantini. But you know what I discovered? After traveling 16 African countries, I realized that, personally, I don't even know my African history. So what I'm going to do is that every country that I go to, we need to know how that country is formed. And since I'm in Swaziland, this is the first ever episode. We want to know how the kingdom of Swaziland, not Swaziland, sorry. You know, um, <clears throat> we hear that often on our channel that after reacting to a lot of locations in Africa, people still say, wow, I never knew that this was happening. Right. This happened, this existed. Yeah. And I think that's normal. I really find yeah. that to be normal because history is just so broad, right? Mm -hmm. History is like trying to discover the whole earth all over again. Exactly, all you know? at one time. <laughs> right, right. So I understand um, that. A lot of people say, oh my God, I'm glad you guys showed this because I didn't know this about my own country. Facts, facts. And we feel that way as well. You know, the United States is such a huge place mm -hmm. and because we're at the bottom of the map we only know you know things that's within our areas right. you know mm -hmm. um, we know things here and there but not the entire <laughs> united states like the the states right right so yeah this the same thing right. <laughs> you want to know how the kingdom of eswatini came into existence and you know that i always travel to land and i gotta do this by myself i go a beautiful swazi uh, i mean a beautiful swazi woman you know with all the qualities to tell us all we need to know my name is maya and nice to meet you thank you this is the new and the museum educator okay yes can you please educate us on how the kingdom of eswatini was formed okay what i can say is you see there is no specific um the period is not accurately uh, being uh, stated but all what you know is that the uh, the maswati they originated from uh, central africa uh, what i can say is it's not just the maswati the nguni clan which end up occupying the whole part of the southern africa that includes the Emaswati. So for this country to become Swaziland, uh, I would say Eswatini, in other words, it actually existing in the uh, early centuries, like in the 14th centuries, oh, wow. but officially it was called uh, the kingdom of Eswatini in 17 uh, centuries. So that means, that doesn't mean there was nothing happening before then. But the kings were regarded as paramount chiefs. Mm -hmm. Yet we did have other chiefs as, as uh, it currently happening even today. We've got chiefs, we then have the kings. Okay. Um, we started having chiefs and paramount chiefs. Mm -hmm. By that time, the paramount chiefs were regarded as the king until the 17th centuries whereby we officially occupied the country and it belonged to the Emaswati. So the Ngunis occupied this the, land? The southern part of Africa. Africa. The exactly. southern part of Africa, yes. not just... Um... Yes, so the Swazis is a part and parcel of the Nguni people. Oh, okay. Yes. So when the Swatis came into uh, this land, were there people in here? Yes. Okay, who uh, are the people that were in here? Uh, they were also the Nguni's, but there are those that came before, okay. because the the Jaminis, who are now the kings, uh, the, the the genealogy of the kings, 
they then submitted under them because they were big and they did not fight them, but they made peace with them. Okay. Too big. Yes. They were just small clans by then, but the the Lamini clan that's was funny. very big. All right, I, I know, I know that's what it is, but that's funny. It was just too big, so they made peace with them. I mean, that's what you do, right? Different times, you you assess your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Big giants, yeah. But I wonder, like, boy. was it like a situation, kind of like, um, what am I gonna say? What country was that? I don't know. Was it like you know more peaceful, not more of I own you type of thing? Right. You know? Coming. I wonder in, if it was that. Coming like in the form of respect. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. So, if I should understand, it's the Lamini people who are ruling the country yes, right now. that is the right, yes. Amazing. So, um, when did this country have its independence? In September the 6th, 1968. Oh. So, when they had independence, who was the king at that, that time? That was King Sobuza the, current, uh, the second, that is the father of the current king. Okay, so he actually helped the country to gain its independence. Definitely. From who? From, we actually get a protectorate from the British. Okay. Yes, colonists. So we were colonized by the British by then. Okay, yes. so uh, after the country. Yeah, man. Shout out to the brave people, man, who fought and did what they had to do to change yeah. lives yeah. for centuries. You feel me? Because if it wasn't for those independent people, bro, like any mindset, any heart, mm -hmm. any bravery, a lot of things would not have changed. Right, and we wouldn't be able to go here, you know? We wouldn't be able to just want to visit places and move about freely. Right, right. That wouldn't happen. I just, every time I hear a year and it seems so close away, mm. that just kind of, it does something for me. It's like, that's why when people say get over certain things, how can you get over it? when people still have those certain mindsets of things that just happen yeah you know yeah. it's not even a hundred years ago not even close it's independent mm -hmm. the king ruled for how long uh he then died he passed on in 1980 1980 81 if not mistaken yeah. and then after and then uh, during that period, and then there was Queen Regent that was still uh, holding up the position up until King Mswati took the, the throne. I'm kind of confused in here. If the father was King, what? Okay, what I can say is, if by that particular period, uh, the King passes on and there is that crown, uh, a king okay. is still an infant. Okay. Mm. So you will be actually led to grow up until the time when you'll be ready yeah. to go to the throne. So in that particular period, the queen mother will carry on ruling the country because the king and the queen mother are the head of states. Okay. Yes. So it's in, there's something that I don't understand. You mentioned the name of the king who passed on. That is that is King Sopuza the second. King Sopuza yes. the second. That is the and, father of the current king. And, the, the, and the current king is called Nswati yes. the third. The, yes. Mm. Why the change of a name if that's the father? Uh, that is actually not for us to know why they changes the titles, but the same name is the same. It's the title that is different. Oh, so um, Swati is actually not a surname. No, it's the title of the oh, king. Oh, wow. Yes. Do you know the real name of the king? Yes. What is the real it's name? It's not positive. I mean, like... The uh, of the nation. I, I'm, I'm really shocked. You know, I didn't know all this. I told, like, the name of the king is um, Swati. No, that's the that's title. That's the title. Like, you are the CEO, but you put your own. Oh, right, right. okay, okay, okay. okay. Amazing. Great questions. Amazing. So, like, so far, how many kings have this country had? Uh, since 17th century, oh, up to today, we had nine. But that doesn't mean that before 17th centuries, we were no kings. There were yeah. kings, but they were not Lamines. They were all Lamines. They were all Lamines. Yeah. It would have been too, had it been, uh, like, we're speaking from the time frame from when the father died, the and then he gave it to the, the, um, the son, but the yeah. son was an infant. Mm -hmm. But that would have been the second king in charge. Yeah, well, he's the second king now. Well, the third king in charge, yeah. 
Well, he would have been next to the king after his dad. He's daddy. the second one. He is the king. After he his daddy. Be... After his dad, the infant. Okay, so the dad passed away, and uh-huh. then the mom was head of state queen. until the son, queen. Yeah, she, yeah. Was, she was queen. Until, though. until, okay, so you're counting the mom. No, I'm counting the son. Okay, so two. Right. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The son would have been the second one. <laughs> we confusing me. <laughs> well, he's confused too, Lord. We all confused. <laughs> no, but we kind of get it. Confused. Okay, you're not confused, but I think what I'm saying is what you're saying, but we're just trying to make it sound yeah. the same. Since independence, they have had two kings. Yeah, I'm just keep it simple. The daddy died, then he gave it to the son, but the son was an infant, so the mama held it down so the yeah, son grew yeah. up. That's yeah. all right. Okay. Kings, not bow, kings. Bow, kings. Bow. Okay, because she was queening. King. Two, how he asked how many kings? Right, right. Kings. Two of them. We know you're paying attention, baby. Oh my God. Yes. And then so much. Because it started with Damini and then Mwane and then it went on and on up today. Up today. Yes, but different tackles. They are all Yaminis. So that means the father was the same, and then the sons they. So it's like a lineage kind of yes, thing. Yes, the genealogy. Wow. Yes. Amazing. You know, like, before I let you go, mm-hmm. I have one question that so many people are asking me, mm-hmm. because we all know the, this kingdom to be called the kingdom of what? Swaziland. Swaziland, yes. But now it's called the kingdom of Eswatini. Mm-hmm. Why the change of the name? What I can say is it has been Eswatini. Uh, I would say it ha- I would say it has to do with the influence of the British colony mm. because uh, for us it's, 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 we call it Eswati, but because we're being uh, colonized by the British, they put a name pronounced very well mm-hmm. uh, Swazi in mm-hmm. Swati. But it has always been that mm-hmm. since the past two years, whereby the king declared to be oh. officially called according the way it's supposed to be. Right. right. So if I should understand, a Swathini is the um, Swati word yes. for Swaziland. You can say like that. But for us, we are Emaswati. The country is Eswatini for the Emaswati people. So it's not Swazi for Swaziland. So that means it's not like we are called it. It's the, our vernacular language. Uh, so the king was correcting what was wrong. That's good. Yes. So it's just that it's been lo- long known Swaziland, of which we used to get to, uh, we get used to that. But it's the correct way of calling the real us. So from today, I hope most of you will understand that they actually did not change the name because I think when I was in China, I remember I did a video about it. They said, I thought they said it's a, the col- Swaziland is the colonized word. Um, and I, I was saying that if um, Swaziland is a colonized word, which means the name Africa should be changed because Africa was also named by the colonizers. Yes. Yo, it's a boy, Mr. Ghana, oh, baby, right here now. in the kingdom of Eswatini. I've learned so much today, and I hope you also learned something today. Is there any question that you want to ask? I'm still in the country, so leave a comment. Let me know what you want to know. And if I have to come back and ask it, <laughs> if I have to come back. How yeah, can you try to just swoop that in there and can't just, do okay, that, bro. And just end the video? Like, what? that's a, that's, that, that's just, because again, you know, we're learning. Yes. Every second of these videos that we're watching, and mm-hmm. to hear him say that. Right. Because for Africa to be colonized and be named Africa. Right. You know what I'm saying? What was it before? So he said then so it would have to change. We did learn what it was before, but honestly, I did forget. What was the original name? So let's look it up right quick. You knew? You don't be reading them comments. Oh my gosh, y'all. Mm. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this. I got you. Don't worry about it, boom. Um, so I got y'all. The name is called. <laughs> well, I bit my tongue. Right. Um. <laughs> but yeah, it's a um. I ain't even gonna butcher it. A l k e b u l a n. Bulan. I'm not going to butcher it. Bulan. Akil Bulan. I don't even know. I don't even know. Because, like, y'all know, if you have been in our lives, we try our best to, you know, pronounce people's, people's name correctly. And we right. get about a good 80% correct. Right. But I don't know, like, what language that would be in. So. Right. 
but interesting that he even <laughs> said that. Right. Know. I would do that. Um, do you want to say anything to people watching us out there? I would say, um, please come and visit Eswatini Kingdom. It's a beautiful country. The people are loving and there is more to see about how Emaswati are living. We are a country that is rich in our culture. And I have observed that other countries, they have, uh, like, the, the culture is fading away. Mm -hmm. For us, it is still strong and vibrant. So come and enjoy the Eswatini Kingdom. Thank you. I forgot to ask you, so which means it's only one tribe in this country? Yes, you speak one language, which is Swati, and the second language is also an official language, that is English. We've got only two official languages. And um, it's one big family? It's one big family. And it's just one And country. we are somehow related. Exactly. Yes. Related to who? To each other. If you go back to the history, <laughs> father, your father was, you see. <laughs> yes. I want to say thank you so much for talking yes, to me. It's my pleasure. It. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Man, that was a great video. Yeah, um, definitely. Very impactful. Can you pull that back up? I want to give it another go. You want to give I think, it another go? I think go, I could babe. pronounce it. I think I could pronounce it. All right. Okay. All right. Um, the name is called El Kibulan. Alki Bulan. Alki Bulan. Alki Bulan. They sound like you're trying to say Buddha. So I, I hear I hear the southern gesture in that. Um, um but yeah, interesting. So you guys obviously did slip that in the comments. I must have missed it. Yeah. Sierra details every single comment. I'm talking about <laughs> girl, you still up? You ain't sleep? Like type of comments. You no, feel I've me? I've gotten better. I give myself a cut off time. There you go. Yeah. Guys too. All right then, yeah. man. Yeah, so this was a good video. We hope you guys enjoyed it with us. Like this video, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like support the channel that way. As well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Send in your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.